science explorers. Let us explore all together the new learnings in science world. Today, we will learn about the useful and potentially harmful materials. Last time, we have discussed about the properties of matter. Now, let us see if you can still remember them. Let's play a game. This game is the so-called four picks one word. I know that you are very much familiar with this game. All you're going to do is to guess the word, given the jumbled letters below. The first word is... Time's up! The correct answer is wood. The second word is... Time's up! The correct answer is plastic. The third word is... Time's up. Correct. The answer is rubber. The fourth word is... Time's up. The correct answer is glass. And the last word is... Time's up. Very good. The correct answer is metal. I went to the supermarket yesterday. But I forgot to put all the items on their proper places. Can you help me work on with that? Okay, let us see one by one the items inside the bag. We have the battery. Glass bottle. Knife. Liquid bleach. Rubbing alcohol and liquid syrup. Where should we put or keep these materials? Can we place these materials just anywhere? Let's talk about them one by one. What is the use of battery? Battery is used for supplying power to electronic gadgets. When can it be harmful? Battery is harmful when not safely stored or disposed. Why can it be potentially harmful? Batteries can be potentially harmful because some of its contents are toxic. How should it be used or handled? Battery should be stored in places out of reach of children. What is the use of glass bottle? A glass bottle is used for storing liquids. When can it be harmful? It can be harmful when it is broken due to accidents or carelessness. Why can it be potentially harmful? It is potentially harmful because it easily breaks. When it breaks, it produces shards with sharp edges and corners. Sharp objects are potentially dangerous. How should it be used or handled? It should be placed where it will less likely to be accidentally put. What is its use? A kitchen knife is used for cutting ingredients for cooking. When can it be harmful? Kitchen knife can be harmful when it has defective handle or when not handled properly. Why can it be potentially harmful? It can be potentially harmful because of its sharpness. How should it be used or handled? It should always be kept out of reach of young children. How is that, children? You should always observe the different ways on how to handle those materials. Now let us talk about the liquid materials. 
They are actually useful, but without proper handling, they may become hazardous or dangerous. Liquid materials can be food products, medicines, paints, personal care, disinfectants, or insecticides. What is its use? Liquid bleach is used to remove tough stains and whitens clotting. When can it be harmful? It can be harmful because of the poisonous substances may be ingested. Overexposure to it can cause skin irritation. Why can it be potentially harmful? It contains toxic chemicals that can pose health hazards to users and environment. How should it be used or handled? Check the label first. Read the instruction to avoid harm. Store it in a secured place. What is the use of rubbing alcohol? A rubbing alcohol is used as antiseptic, surface disinfectant, and for household cleaning. When can it be harmful? It can be harmful if accidentally ingested and if inhaled for a long period of time. Why can it be potentially harmful? It contains toxic, which are poisonous and highly flammable. How should it be used or handled? Store it properly in a tightly closed container in a cool, dry, well-ventilated area and away from all possible ignition sources. What is its use? Cough syrup relieves cough. When can it be harmful? Improper use of this medication like overdosage. Why can it be potentially harmful? Overdosage may result serious harm such as brain damage, seizure, or even death. How should it be used or handled? We have to take doctor's advice or follow the directions on the product package for self-treating. With this, help me to determine the usefulness and harmfulness of the materials. You may also help me on how to handle, store, and even dispose those materials. Now, let us check if you really understand our lesson for today. Tell whether proper or improper. Tell whether proper or overcharging a battery. The answer is improper. Drinking from a glass with visible crack. The answer is improper. Picking a knife by the handle. The correct answer is proper. Using a pot holder in picking up a kettle with boiling water. The correct answer is proper. Mixing a drained battery with other waste products. The answer is improper. Taking liquid syrup to treat cough any time of the day. The answer is improper. Using muriatic acid to clean bathroom tiles with hand gloves. The correct answer is proper. Decorating the walls using spray paint with no mask. The answer is improper. Closing the valve of the gas tank after cooking. The correct answer is proper. Drinking milk beyond expiration date. The answer is improper. I hope you enjoy our lesson for today. See you next time. Bye!